Noshir Gawadia is a former Maui resident and an engineer who called himself the father of the B-2 stealth bomber. But today, a federal jury called him guilty of being a spy. KITV4's Jill Kuramoto joins us. And Jill, I, can't imagine, I can imagine that this was a pretty complicated trial. <laughs> That's right. Federal prosecutors say this is one of the longest and most complicated cases they've ever handled. It took five years just to get to the trial. And during the four-month-long trial, prosecutors faced the challenge of how to carefully present top-secret military information in a public courtroom. But after six days of deliberation, a jury today found Nashir Gowadia guilty of espionage, conspiracy, and money laundering. 66-year-old Noshir Gowadia was an engineer for 18 years with Northrop Grumman, the company that built the B-2 bomber, and he worked on its top-secret stealth propulsion system. Although Gowadia claims he is not guilty, federal prosecutors say he was helping China design a stealth cruise missile with his know-how. He knew it was classified. He knew it was national defense information, and that he communicated it knowing that. Among the most serious of today's 14 convictions, conspiracy to violate the Arms Export Control Act. Prosecutors say Gowadia provided China with analysis of how its cruise missile would perform with his stealthy exhaust nozzle. They say he even took six trips to China to help with the design and was paid at least $110,000. The U.S. attorney says Gowadia put America's national security in jeopardy. The B-2 bomber is a mainstay of our nation's defense, uh, communicating lock-on-range information against a short-range air-to-air missile uh, is not a helpful thing to our nation's defense. It's not clear how much money Gowadia made from his side business, but when federal agents raided his luxury home on Maui in 2005, they found evidence Gowadia was selling stealth secrets to several foreign countries. This verdict sends a very clear message that no, you, you can't do that, and we can take care of our business here in American courtrooms when this does happen. Gowadia's family left the court with no comment. His attorneys say they plan to appeal the verdict. Mr. Gowadia is disappointed. Uh, obviously, on the counts that he was convicted, he, again, he doesn't feel like he committed a crime. Now, Gowadia remains in federal custody where he's been since his arrest. He faces life in prison when he's sentenced in November. Joel Kuramoto, KITV4 News.